just so magical and beautiful and painful at times and emotional. Well, it's very emotional. And down and yeah, it's like... Yeah, so I thought we would just chat about what happened this morning. So what? So you, why don't you frame from your perspective Okay. what happened this morning? So this morning... <laughs> Leap. Yeah, made the leap and then just a couple days ago we were in Guelph, picked it up, got it, purchased it, and it's been sitting there out and we've been playing with it ever since. Yeah, every every time every, we walk by. Every go, time we walk down. by, lay a track, have fun, and I don't know how or why I started singing a Billie Eilish song while you were making breakfast or something. Which we'd never sang before, ever. Like, I, I mean, no, we, we, I don't maybe once but well, I maybe you're saying so. it but i sure didn't learn how to play it no this was the first time we started you just you're like oh let me hear that song we played it you picked it up immediately and then we were like oh let's record this this sounds cool yeah. and we tried you know practiced a few times like under 10 times and then just recorded it you said make a music video you capture. I'm like, you want to capture the video, and you're yeah, you're capturing the field some and watch video. The, the I'm trees capturing in this, some video. It's just such a game changer because this is what I I wanted to do 30 years ago, which was you know you'd have to go and get a producer to pay a whole bunch of money, get you know all kinds of things. Totally different world 30 years ago. And that said, I don't. I'm starting to appreciate it. Never really allowed myself to fully explore the the, the creative involved with writing songs i did writing songs doing things that are really touching moving pieces but never being able to capture capture that emotion in video mm -hmm. or support it or put it in a context that you put it into or it's part of an offering to a network that grows mm -hmm. along with us as we explore what life is about and bang around over here and over here and we tie this into the rv life and basically freedom Surrender. All flow, of the magic. And then, and then we just get these pillows that just come in. Oh, it's so cool. It's I a, love them. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's so liberating to feel this convergence of all of my cre creative expression. And then, yeah, do it in a way that's inclusive and curious and artful and creative. And Anyways, Anyways, whatever he has to say. Why is now getting this amp important for you? Well, it, because I think it allows me to actually play. And play being very, very important at this point in time. And one of the things, you know, be creative, play. And with, with the, the music, it is, it's an amp that, that typically people buy to perform at gigs. Like at live gigs in small venues. It's very small. But it provides me with the opportunity to be able to go and do vocal and vocal overlay and loops and then guitar overlay and loops. And I have, aside from just playing with it just because it's just fun and it'll be fun, I can actually put down rhythm tracks and then play solo tracks and then play bass over top and all kinds and of cool things. And I can go. Yeah, she can go. Which is my favorite thing to do. Yeah, high touch. Like just very, really. We're allowing ourselves to go into the, the, the high touch of subtle things like expressing ourselves or sharing our journey and sharing human our ups connection. and down. It's in, the human journey. Yeah. Community, you know, flow, surrender, ease. These are all words that are coming up more and more and more in these times that have never been so divisive. And so... Yeah, we're actually... Again, it was only four or five days ago that the Earth had record temperatures all at the same time. Yes. You know, like we were up to 36, 36 or something 37. here in, in Canada. 
never ever before have had that but the thing that's actually so wild is that these types of phenomena were happening all around it the world at the same time all around time, the world at the same time which I am very clear is unprecedented and we're the talking only about other time that happened sorry to interrupt you is COVID COVID was right. the first yeah. thing in the world that happened affected a, the global community at the, the same whole time. earth at the same time and so well, what if more and more phenomena are, like this are happening yeah. as a reflection of who we're being as as a as whole a, community on this planet out of harmony dissonant yeah. enraged inflamed yeah. sick diseased because or, and or love you know joy freedom like there's the, the there's, there's the fork in the road i mean the idea is is living life as free and with joy and living life yeah. as just a pain in the ass, which I must say I did a ton of. I did as well. I was, you know, we always say we've failed in a in lot of ways. In every way, you know, that I could ever think of and not think of, yeah. I've learned how to fail and recover. Yeah. Are you excited? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Are you stretched? I'm so to totally stuff coming up at the bottom. Every freaking thing is coming up at the bottom. What are you doing? You shouldn't be doing this. This is crazy. What do you think you are? Your freaking creative days are over. Your musical, you know, whatever. Yeah, that's just the stuff I can say without swearing. <laughs> and we start the day, and it's this huge, big, fantastic. Oh my God! Just blows the lid off joy and what was possible and everything else and then we know what happens is all the associated fears shame shame guilt, guilt oh my god anger stuff that i can't imagine yeah. comes up to be healed and let go yeah. and then the letting go there's a lot of energy to let go that's why we have to move so so slow because ev evolution is moving so 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 fast yeah. like technology is speeding up our emotions, our awareness, yeah. and things our connectivity. are moving, our, yeah, our connectivity, like AI is then exponentially accelerating that. Yeah. So if we don't slow down, we're not gonna hear the wisdom. Our heart is, is you know, directing us and guiding us to. Yeah. Turn right, turn yeah. right, turn right. Yeah, or feel this, feel this. Yeah. Yeah, so for me, the bringing music and creativity into my life. Creativity, I, I have to say that I've, I've always been very creative. It's just more recently that I'm owning that I'm creative. And then in doing so, I'm observing in myself all the different avenues of which you can express and therefore also release emotion. Because I used to be someone who was just very much writing about writing in journals. Yeah, keeping it or to yourself. video journals and just keeping it in my own world or or more so being very heady like being very much in my head you know with words and you know, yoga is an embodiment practice but singing and painting and well playing playing and it's a full body yeah. experience as opposed to keeping it in your head yeah and it's ultimately it ends up being what we're what, we're, what I'm discovering and is that it's a reflective practice. Like it's very difficult to see ourselves yeah. if we're not using yeah. mechanics like, like it's available right now. Right. You record this, you play it back, go wow. Or have physical people, yeah, community reflecting. that you trust that can help you reflect and see things in ways that like I can't see on my own. And I, I'm always so grateful when you point out things to me that I've missed <laughs> in terms of you know just mirroring to me and reflecting back to me the stories that I'm telling myself or energy that I'm taking on that is empowered well I mean for me maybe you might want to edit this out or keep it in but I'm just, I'm just reflecting right now has been a huge convergence around family yeah I've just my niece and and her um, Partner. partner now husband now yeah. just got married a couple of days ago and it was one of the reasons it was one of the things in terms of planning where we were going to do that was really important to me to go to that wedding and, and be, be connected with family and get that reconnection and in reconnecting with family there's always an emotional roller coaster and not suggesting anything's bad it's just there's so much love and joy and it's just this huge up and down and up and down 
and you're having a similar experience yes. at the same time as yes. I'm having that experience at the same time we're coming in mm -hmm. and we're actually just getting our stuff organized so that we're out from this space here and we will not be my, the plan is is to to, to add by the end of this year be out of this lease and then be on the road full time. full time like you know all the time and there is such a freedom in that I have never I have not known this type of a freedom since I was 19 when I was hitchhiking across Europe mm -hmm. and that was only for a few months before I went to university and I made a plan, promise to myself back then that I was going to go and this was something I was going to revisit more frequently than I ever did and it's you know it's taken a lot of years I was only 19 back then and I'm a little older than 19 now and to actually have that opportunity right now and to recognize I just love the idea of having a cocoon on wheels it's just this you know, this a, one. a cocoon a creative play box oh my god yeah, play, rolling, yeah exactly a rolling recording studio and edit suite and oh my goodness. all the toys to play outdoors paddle boards bikes cheese bikes. yeah i mean it's just it's literally heaven on earth is what it feels like all the things i didn't realize were so fundamentally important to me and just have them in this little relatively speaking this little space which is you know got some wheels on it and if we go and move from one place to the next and that's the power that the world is the earth is reflecting to us right now with the health challenges and the heat or the global climate challenges is reflecting to us you know how are we sick inside or how are we heated up and angered inside and the truck driving by <laughs> Like, what do we need to listen to to let go of, you know, the anger being an alchemical, alchemical force? Say, so, yeah, no, this isn't okay anymore. The, this, isn't, yeah. this isn't who I am. This yeah. is what I need. I'm not being true to who I am. Yeah, these are my needs to thrive in this world. Which these I could are... never ever, like, I, I mean, we talked about this now for four years. It was when we first yeah. met. And, and you were way ahead of me on that front. Uh, and you probably, you still are. And I'm, I'm kind of understanding, like, what is it? What is it I really, really need? And I'm starting, just starting to get a handle on what that is, mm -hmm. and then how much I suppressed those needs so I could stick with the path I was on and make sure that I make enough money and do enough things to yeah. make sure that I can be this, enough. that, and the other. Be enough. And that is yeah, the, be enough. the biggest reprogramming is for the empowered stance of I am enough. Yeah, I am more than enough. More than enough. I am worthy to be me. Feel whatever I feel is legitimate because I'm feeling it. And from that place, how do I want to relate with people in my environment, my environment, this ex life experience we call being human. Yeah. And there's never been more more available to us to be resourceful, creative, oh my like God, technology yeah. and, get support. and have support. And I truly believe that we can exist in harmony and prosperity and health as a species when we take on this stance that we are enough. Yeah. And the world's helping us, you know, technology is helping us recognize we're all connected. We all really literally feel each other's joy and we feel each other's pain. And the more connected we are, and the more consciously connected we are, through technology, which is just a metaphor for the fact that we're, that all, we are connected, all connected. I, I, I mean, I've, yeah, I, for me, I just speak from my own life experiences. Is I've, I've never experienced so much deep connection with things that are really important to me and people that are really important to me. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. It is a, it's a magical thing. And. Uh, if you're wondering why normally I have the camera up here at this level so your eye level with us But this was a spontaneous turn the camera on moment. There was nothing that high and to you were it sitting on, on uh, this beautiful like this Amaryllis, is kind of I think it's called. strange this plant was in the garage it, yeah. Unattended to all but winter it's totally dark in the totally garage. dark in the garage never had a drop of water and somehow this yeah, this is what's Coming, coming up. It was amazing 
and it's in the time frame that we're sitting here. I like know. this started off as just this boop came up that tall and now <laughs> we get to enjoy it you know just all of a sudden kind of it's opening presenting itself we'll have to take this on the rv with us i think we will <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious that is what a great 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 metaphor yeah out of the darkness you can emerge Take 